Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Brotime Media, and today we are going to be voting for the Monster Cat Best of 2023 compilation. The voting is just out now today, and uh, we're going to go through kind of my process, I guess, and how we vote. Uh, I've been voting for years uh, on this channel, just a little bit uh, less, and uh, yeah, kind of a little bit of an annual tradition at this point. So uh, I'm super excited, super fun, and super fun, <laughs> super uh, ready to get into all the fun is what I meant to say. And uh, yeah, I, I'm intrigued to see how I'm going to take take this year I normally so I do have a spreadsheet where I like I track every single Monster Cat release on the year I have literally listened to every single release that has existed this year and um I, I track them all and I have my get my own ratings and stuff but I, I think it's more of a, a feel it's more of a feel for what tracks I want to vote for I don't think it's necessarily the uh what song I think is is the best I don't does that make sense like I think it's tracks that like like there's tracks that I think are really solid but I don't think they're my favorite I don't think they would land in my favorite um, list. So I hope that makes sense, but now let's get into it. Voting is open. Learn more. Best of 2023. As I fail to click the thing, let's go learn more. Uh, two days to vote. Okay. And so another year of incredible music is drawn to a close. Here's your chance to nominate tracks to define for 20, year 2023. Best of 2023. As uh, different from previous years, I've heard about this. You'll have 15 votes to nominate your favorite tracks here from any label. Uh, also, the they have this love-hate relationship with the word label and branding where they don't want to call them separate labels and they they, they don't want to just say it's branding. They want to do this back and forth. And so I guess they're going with from any label here. Uh, we'll tally the votes after the close and the top 30 tracks from Uncaged, 10 from Instinct and 10 from Silk will be revealed, which I get. I, I get. Personally, I'm a fan of the just top songs make it. Top 30, top 40. Those are the ones that make it regardless of branding slash label um, just because it is a best of. But I, 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 I get, get moving all the love. I get it. Uh, I get it. So <laughs> given more love away. So, okay, let's get started here. Uh, okay. This is again, how we're doing the last year. So, oh, we are going by reverse order. I, f I can't remember if it was reverse order last year or not, but uh, let's just go through. And then I'm just going to just mentally go through and kind of look at some lies and deceptions. Back Computer remix is solid. So I'm going to say that one's pretty good. I did like the Havery remix of Afraid of the Dark. Wasn't a fan of the uh, introspection remixes. Uh, I'm not a huge Silk Eye. But um, yeah, more than this, Mango Cloud Cage. I'm sorry, I'm not going to vote for it, but uh, good luck in your sweep. Um, <laughs> moving back to life, it's not love. Back to me. Uh, Thrones of Blood was good. Uh, Dream of You, didn't like the Dada Life one, all I wanted. The Other Side, Other Side's got to get a vote for me. I think that's phenomenal. I like to get through a lot. Uh, Calling Us, I think it's got to get another vote for me. Like the Injack stuff, but uh, I think last year was the first time I voted for a Silk Injack one. But uh, the Dark, I actually really liked Whipped Cream. The Dark was a huge fan of that track. Um, Every Little Thing, Good Conroe. I don't know if I'm voting for Conroe this year. Conroe's one of my favorite artists, but I just don't think uh, it was my favorite. Oh, yeah, same thing. Direct in Danique and Today. Wow, we're in February and I've got five of 15, so I gotta maybe chill a little bit. Do My Own Thing, I liked a lot too. Uh, move back. I <laughs> uh, wasn't a huge fan of that one. The remix, the VIP for Far Out just came out. So, uh, Fall Apart, I liked in some areas. <laughs> uh, Valhalla was solid. Uh, Higher Ground, I really liked as well. Uh, but I think I would go back to Higher Ground potentially. I liked Rewind a lot too, so maybe I'll come back to Rewind. Um, I wasn't huge on Pursuit of Violence. Diving In was good, but not cr crazy. I really liked Watch the Crown Fall. I think it was a phenomenal intro to the record. And I think uh, if the whole album was like that, I would have absolutely loved it more. Um, so, but I think I will, I would vote for Watch the Crown Fall. Uh, nothing else, I don't think, from that record. Uh, Kingslayer, New Worlds. Uh, oh, You Want Me? Oh, Charmer. Charmer's this year, isn't it? I loved Charmer. Uh, Vermin, talk to you. Lightbringer. I, I did like Lightbringer, but I think there are some other ones I'm going to pick here. I'm definitely going to get some Skyrake in here, but uh, I, I, there are some other tracks I think I enjoyed more. So I'll be waiting. Also another solid track, uh, <laughs> Blow the Whistle, which I also thought was, by the way. Uh, Fever. I like Fever a lot, but I I gotta say Charmer. I was a huge stan of Charmer this past year. Uh, maybe I'll come back to um, Fever at some point if uh, if I need to get some more Echo. Uh, just like you, Quantum Level. No, we'll move on for now. 
Uh, Scream King on the inside, I liked a lot too. That was probably one of my favorite Silk tracks of the year, um, but uh, not it for me. Uh, you found me next snap, repeating, I wasn't a huge fan of Happy Song as much, I uh, forgot about Pirate King, totally, uh, Bang Your Head, I, as much as I love Diesel, I don't think Diesel's gonna get a vote for me this year, I just don't think so, um, but, uh, it's very fun, uh, Accelerate will for sure, um, and I think that is going to be the number two song of the year, would be my guess, at the end, when it's all said and done, when all voting, like, is in everyone else's votes, not just me, um, Arcadia, Deadlock was also really solid. I liked all the Conroe stuff, but not enough, I think, to vote it. Like, I loved all three of these tracks, but not enough to really go for it. Oh, and Hero was great, too. Ooh, I don't, let's not, let's, for now, let's, let's hold off. Here is another one I would come back to. Um, all the BT stuff, again, I thought was solid, but not enough for me to vote for. Uh, I liked Rescue Me a lot, actually. Uh, I wasn't a fan of these remixes a whole ton. Lift Me Up was great, uh, but yeah, okay, Let It Bloom also solid, but uh, Full Speed was good, I think Full Speed might um, might might take something in here, I think it'll land at least in the top ooh, 20, I would be my guess, Calling I think might land at 2, um, I've got to get high enough, this is my only 10 out of 10 I gave this year on Monster Cat, uh, for my own ratings and scores, but um, that's besides the point, uh, I'm a huge stan of Grant, Dion Timmer, wasn't a huge fan of that one, actually, um, compared to uh, uh, Kaiwashi or whatever, or, or Siawasha, whatever that first thing is, but uh, Slow Dance I liked a lot, too, but I don't think it's enough for me to vote for it. Uh, the Diesel stuff I think is great, but I'm uh, not going to vote for it. Land of the Living. It's uh, another one I might come back to. We'll see. It's, it's like on the cusp. It's on the cusp. Uh, I did like the first track from this one. Um, I can't remember what it was. The, yeah. Uh, Feeling Free, definitely going to take that one for sure. That one is going, uh, hands down on my list. Um, The Law, ooh, that's another tight one. Buckshot's another type, tight one too. Oh, dang. Okay, we're getting to the point now where I'm, I'm like, I should just start putting some stuff in. Uh, ooh, Infortuni I really liked as well. Uh, Electric I don't think was enough to land on my list. Drifter I wasn't a fan of. Wait For It was great too. Oh, dang. Okay, now it's getting harder. IRL, I will go IRL, was a was a fan of that one. Money Moves Fever, I, I was a little, yeah, underwhelmed with Fever. Uh, Machine, I gotta go Machine, I think, uh, the first one of another intro to the record that I think is one of the best tracks from the album. I actually really liked Motor, too. Uh, I didn't talk about it much on the channel, but I actually really did like Motor. I thought it was, I was, it's my favorite Thirst song, so. Uh, I actually really liked the AMR rec. I liked Little Stars quite a bit, but I don't think I'm going to give it to, oh, Little Stars and Wounds, both were great tracks, but I'm, I don't think I'm gonna give it to those oh okay yeah there's two right here um take two and white lie both are gonna make it i forgot about those ones both they were the same week i think weren't they um oh yeah the, it says right there and uh those are ones that i really really enjoyed oh and then pondering minds and chroma i don't think pondering minds chroma might do it though and then this is just the yeah Oh, for now, I would say Chroma, and that's one I would be pretty confident with. So if I go Chroma here, then that's... Is this my list? Is this what I want to give as my list? Let's see. Lies and Deception, the Bad Computer Remix. The Other Side, A5 and Chime. Calling Us, The Dark, Same Thing. Watch the Crown Fall. Charmer, Accelerate, High Enough, Feeling Free, IRL Machine, Take Two, White Light, Chroma. Is that what I want to do? Is that my year? Let's see. Yeah, I, uh, I think I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, I think this is the list that I want to go with. I think it's my top 15 uh, of Monster Cat of 2023. And uh, let's hit submit. I don't think we're going to see any um, thing for the, the... Yeah, it's not going to... It just says share your picks. So, uh, yeah, those are indeed my picks for the Monster Cat Best of 2023. And I want to hear uh, what your picks are. I want to hear what you have to say, uh, what your picks are. Put them all in those comment section below. And uh, when this when it finally gets announced and when uh, they finally go through what the uh, the top 50 are, uh, we will do a video on that too, so stay tuned for that. But uh, other than that, I'm Dakota from Bowtie Media, and I'll see you guys in another video.